This is the Eastcute Polino Plus, the upgraded version of the standard Polino that I tested and was already quite happy with last year. The Polino Plus received a relatively small upgrade but has major improvements for the rider. It now uses a torque sensor instead of a cadence sensor, making it an even better city commuter. I'll delve into more details in this video, so let's get started. Before comparing it to last year's model, let's quickly go through the unboxing process. Just like the standard model, everything is well packed and protected with sufficient foam. The installation process remains the same. Install the display and handlebar first, then the front wheel, pedals and finally fix the mudguard and front light in place. It took me about 15 minutes to get it up and running. So nothing much has changed with the Poluno Plus model in terms of unboxing experience and components. It still features the same 28 inch tires, rear motor and 36 volt 14.5 amp hour battery. Moreover, the throttle is not included due to legal restrictions in many countries across the EU. If you desire a throttle, I will provide a link in the video's description as well as a link to the bike itself. The main difference in this year's model is the use of a torque sensor instead of a cadence sensor. After testing the Poluno Plus against my standard model intensively, I've identified 5 benefits of a torque sensor over a cadence sensor. First of all, a more natural riding experience. A torque sensor detects the rider's actual pedaling force, providing a more intuitive and natural riding experience. Secondly, precise power delivery. It adjusts the motor assistance based on the rider's effort, resulting in smoother acceleration and better control, especially when starting or climbing hills. Number three, better control and safety. The torque sensor allows for greater control over speed and power output, enhancing safety and handling in challenging conditions. Fourth, Improved efficiency. The motor assistance is optimized, reducing unnecessary energy consumption and maximizing the bike's battery range. And last but not least, reduced wear and tear. It aligns motor assistance with the rider's pedaling force, reducing strain on drivetrain components and increasing their durability. Since I've already discussed the specifications, the pros and the cons in a separate video of the standard model, linked here in the top right corner, in this video I will mainly focus on the new torque sensor. In terms of the first point, it's true that when you start pedaling or increase your pedaling force, the motor provides immediate assistance that matches your effort. This creates a seamless and smooth riding experience, making it feel as if you always have tailwind. Regarding points 2 and 3, unlike a cadence sensor where it relies on your pedaling speed, a torque sensor takes into account the force that you apply to the pedals. This means that even at a slow cadence, the motor will respond based on the force you exert. As a result, you can experience effortless, accurate and predictable acceleration. Especially when starting or climbing uphill. The motor assistance is finely tuned to your pedaling effort, allowing for a more natural and enjoyable ride. Due to better component alignment and smoother functioning, less energy is lost, enabling me to reach a 10km longer distance on the same battery. The Plus model offers an increased range, as stated in their advertising materials, from 100km with the standard model to 120km on the Plus model. And lastly, there is less wear and tear. Since the motor assistance is more accurately aligned with the rider's pedaling force, there's less strain on the chain, gears and other drivetrain elements. This can lead to improved durability and longevity of the bike's components. In summary, a torque sensor undoubtedly provides a more intuitive ride, as well as precise power delivery, improved efficiency and reduced wear and tear. I believe it's a smart move by EastQ to introduce a torque version of this e-bike. I was already highly satisfied with the standard Poluno model and the Plus version is a valuable addition to their range, especially if the Pro version is too expensive for your budget. Now, If you want a more sporty version of this e-bike, then go watch this video. It's the same setup, but with a different design and from a different brand. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down below. And don't forget to subscribe so that I see you in the next one.